Hey everybody, how you guys doing? I'm feeling a little crabby today. You know, sometimes it's just really hard because I want to go out and see my friends and I want to see your faces too. Um, and some days you're just not feeling that great about that you can't. But other days are great. So some days are good, some days are bad. So to make my crabbiness go away, I decided we're going to draw crabs today. All right? So um, showed you a quick little video. And I'm going to show you another one because I have an idea in my head what a certain kind of crab looks like but do you know there's zillions of different crabs some are this big some are gigantic you'll see some of them are really big they don't live around here so don't worry about that but they are pretty cool some of them are really colorful some are fuzzy kind of neat so what I'm gonna do is I'll show you a few pictures but then the crab that I picked is kind of a regular crab but when you want to color it you can think about all the crabs I showed you and design it any way you want and um, we'll get right at it don't be so crabby all right. all right this is the Tasmanian giant crab I'd like to meet him with a cup of hot butter and gobble him up oh my look at this coconut crab I think he thinks the trash can is his shell crab. This is a guard crab. His job is to hang out inside coral and make sure no fish go in there. Look at him crossing his hands and those mean eyes. Ooh, vampire crab. This is the hairy bear crab. Funny. And this is a Japanese spider crab. Huge. The yeti crab. And then we have the candy crab. It looks kind of like cotton candy. The rainbow swimming crab. It was actually one of the meanest crabs. And this is the Palawan purple crab. The cool thing about him is he was only discovered four years ago in Polynesia. So he's a brand new species. We're gonna make our crab. Now, I am sending this along for grown-ups if you want. You don't really need to print it out, but this kind of gives us a step-by-step -step of how to do it. So I'll be following this so you can um, look at this on the computer if you want, or you can watch me. But you'll see right here, these are the first lines, these two little eyes, and then this is gonna be our next line. So for the eyes, they're very tiny to start with, and they're kind of right in the middle of the paper, but closer to the bottom, this is about a finger up from me. Um, parents, it's about three inches if you want to eyeball it. But I'm just going to make a dot right here. And then since my finger was there, that's a good space before I make the next dot. Here, eyeballs. And then I circle around to make the actual eyes. Now, like you saw, there's a lot of different kinds of crabs. So you can draw a fancier one than we are drawing. Now, the front of the, the shell kind of looks like a smile that goes through the eyes. I mean, not all the way through. You put your line down here, go through over, a little line there, go over and go up. I'll show you how to do it with my Sharpie, but then you should try it with your finger first. All right, it's gonna look like a smile. So it's gonna go down like this, jump over the eye, Go to the next eye, jump over the eye, and go on up. So it looks like a very weird, smiling whatever. Okay? Right now it doesn't look like a crab. Then we're going to do this piece right here. Don't worry about trying to make it perfect. The crab shell is totally not perfect. So with your finger, start on this one and go up the hill and down the hill and connect. All right? 
Remember, fingers help you really know what you want to do and keeps you from making something you're not happy with. There. Not perfect, see? Just like I told you. All right, so now we're gonna do all his legs or arms. They're called pincers. They are, look like pinchers. They can pinch, but they call them pincers. Now, let's count. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Five plus five is 10. So he's got 10 legs. And you can see they're not straight legs. Each one, they're like little knuckles, and that's how he can move all around. All right, so we're going to start with these two. So right on either side of the eye, we're going to make a little rounded oval. I'm going to, for the front two, I'm going to do it as I go with one side. I'm going to go to the other side and do kind of the same thing. So again, with your fingers, one, two, three. He's got that, and then he's got the big one. Looks kind of like a moon. All right. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Those are his front ones. Now we're going to start doing the side ones, okay? So the next set goes right here. Right next to this one, right here. And I'm going to do it the same way on this side. This one has three knuckles. So I was going to go one, two, and a big, they almost look like moons, right? Now I did that. Now I'm coming here. One, two, three. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four. We still have six more to do. All right, now the next one's going to go right where that smile, the front meets the back. And this one's gonna actually have four. And it's gonna go out this way. So let me do one, and then with your finger, you can see where I did it on yours, and then you can do it. So these are gonna go out this way. One, two, three. The ones on the end are a little bit pointy. All right, so I did that there. Now I'm gonna come here. So if you can draw this simple shape, you've got this crab. All right, just take your time and do it. There. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, now this one goes right next to it. This has got four also. All right, so again, if you can make this shape, you're in good shape. You know what you're doing. Each shape is going to be a little bit different. There's lots of wobbly pieces to crabs. That one, now that one. All right, you see it's going out this way. All right, so let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many more? You guys know? Two more. And these are his back claws. So those actually are going in like this. See how this went in? It's gonna go around toward the middle. So, right here, my leg's gonna go this way. Okay? So, same thing, four knuckles, if you will. One, two, three. All right, he needs a mole to get around. There, that's our crab. Maybe I'll put a little little line there and some freckles or dots You'll if you looked at a crab close. And again, you saw the crabs I showed you in the beginning. Those were amazing, unique looking crabs. They were pretty cool. So when you do color your crab, you think about those pictures and um, see what you come up with. Now, again, you can put him anywhere you want. You can put him in the supermarket if you want. You can put him in bed, sleeping, or we can put him on the beach. So I'm gonna just make some wobbly lines around him. Okay, so he's on the beach, right? Lots of sand. You don't have to put every single dot on there, but let's give you a little sand here. Maybe I'll make a shell over here. To make a shell, it's almost the same as his shell, right? Goes out like that, 
in like that. And then it's got two little sides here. Okay, there's a shell. Another kind of shell goes like that. Right? You can put little pieces of sea glass. I love sea glass. All right? And you can put more layers of sand. You can put the water back here. Or when you color. All right. So, Put the sun up here. You got it, right? You got it from here. All right, so that's our drawing. Now you make yours as special as you want it. And like I said, it does not have to be on the beach. It could be crossing the street. You use your imagination. Now I have lots of things we can use to color, and I think you guys know that whatever you have in the house is good. Um, we are going to today use the watercolor. Now this paper is kind of thin, so I'm not going to go too crazy. Or markers or pastels. I also have these. These are called watercolor pens. Grown-ups, if you ever want to keep your kid amused, this is a neat way to do it. There's a pen brush. This is the paint. So maybe I'll just do a little bit of this for the water. All right. And then I'll, I'll concentrate on my crab after that. See, nice and soft or very dark depending on how much water you put in there. Okay. Remember those lines. The best way not to go out of the lines is to draw around them first. See? Now, if you do use these and dip them in water, don't dip them and stir and stir and stir. All you're going to do is get all the paint coming out. You want to make these last. So when I do dip, I'm talking like this. Boop. That's it. Just enough to give it some water to blend. Okay. All right. All right, so that's one way of doing it. We also can use color pencils. Remember? Um, let's see, what do I have here? I'll just use red since that's what I have close by. Now remember, what do you do first? I know it probably gets boring to do it this way, but that's what you're going to get the best kind of result from. Outlining first. Now he does not have to be just one color. He does not have to be a normal color. You saw all those crabs. Right. I'm kind of making it equal on each side. So I'm going to just go back and forth with what I have here. Remember, these kind of are good too. Just want to make sure you guys learn about all the different ways we can do art. Outline first, remember? And then color. All right, I'm going to leave the rest up to you guys. All right. See what you can do. A little bit of shading. Some of you know how to do that. Right. Now, you can put anything you want in your background. I told you that. 
All right, so you can actually, I have one here. Let's see, I did one earlier, where is it? This one, I actually put a toe in there. Because that's what happens when you get too close, right? Boom, got it. All right, so again, anything you want. All right, I love the imagination that you use. All right, up to you now. Let's see what you can do. Remember those pictures that I showed you in the beginning because they're going to give you lots of great ideas to be so creative. All right, see you in a minute.